this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. How you doing? Uh, it is Friday the 24th of April. I have uh, finished night shift, so I've just started on my five days off. Um, I'm going to pop right in here. So I came home this morning, went to bed. Uh, said to Nathan he can start making noise from about 11 o'clock just so long as I get a few hours sleep it's all good um, he started making noise <laughs> woke me up I managed to somehow go back to sleep I don't know how but then uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon or about half past one in the afternoon I've just finally given up on the noise and gotten out of bed made my coffee and sat down to drink my coffee and so right here I'm going to insert in what it was like at two o'clock in the afternoon and what he was doing I was sitting in the kitchen and I won't pop it in right there I'll keep going I was sitting in the kitchen drinking my coffee and that's what you hear where he's using that sander was right outside the bedroom door so Hope you enjoy this little bit of a clip it and uh, not sure if you can understand what I say. But yeah, enjoy it. Block your ears. <laughs> How was that? How would you be if you've done 12 and a half hour shift and that's what you woke up to? I didn't realise. He said he was going to be sanding. I didn't realise how much he was going to be sanding. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I eventually drank my coffee and then it was yeah no nah, can't deal with this so <clears throat> i'm going to pop in now i decided to take both for a walk i normally walk him in the evening so i decided to take him for a walk in the morning uh, morning in the afternoon it was morning for me uh, in the afternoon so there's a couple of clippings that i'll put in here of taking us for a walk taking us for work taking him for a walk and um he can you can enjoy what it's like to uh, well, I suppose look around another area see what it's like you will hear some cockies so there is some pink and grey galahs in the area and they were going off in this recording um, yeah so enjoy and uh, warning big warning ahead Bo is a male dog and he likes to cock his legs on things so if you're uh, sensitive to that kind of stuff just be warned um, he is a male dog that has not been to his sex so he his uh, nose rules his uh, ha rules what he does so yeah I'll pop that in here and enjoy the little walk around the local park where I walk by hey, Diamond and I just doing something a little bit different taking you for a walk with Bo that's uh, Friday afternoon about three o'clock in the afternoon Bows off the lead, enjoying the park. So this is um, just our local park. Uh, I've tried to film a couple of times, but I've already had to fill the two doggy bags, so I had to stop. But this is what it's like around here. Beautiful park, beautiful lawns. We have a creek, and uh, I'm just heading to the bin for a little deposit. Hang on a sec. And uh, yeah, we have a little creek that runs down here. Whoops. Very peaceful. Uh, it's all autumn hasn't kicked in. We don't have much in the way of rain. And my dog is off. We walk the same way. When we go for a walk at night time, we walk the same way. So he knows where he has to go. 
and I know where he'll be. In winter, this here to the right is full of water. We have ducks and uh, yeah, very, very pretty. I hope I'm not jostling you too much. Uh, that there is a future shopping centre for us. It's going to be massive. I don't know if you can see but in the distance his boy. I know at this stage uh, he won't go very, very far because it takes him about five minutes to get through the next section of bushes because he has to pee on every bush <sighs> about three times. When he finds a bush, that's his bush. So how pretty is that for a park? So all this down here, hang on, let's get the finger where we can be, here is full of water, normal. We have our, uh, we actually have toilets here. I don't know if I've got toilet paper, I haven't checked. So here we goes. We're getting closer to the boat now. This is something that is very horrible with sharp haze and their drool. Because when he does walk, see if I can get a face close up of his face. Hang on. Okay, I just hit the power off button by mistake. Um, but yeah, bow. Typical male. You don't need to see that. He sniffs at everything. Everything. Bow. And he's a shit. <laughs> Oi! Oi! Come on! Buddy! I don't know whether you can see the slobber coming out of his mouth. Um, yeah, we have warning signs about stakes in the area. And. Yeah, come on! Take coming, boy! Yeah, nice little walk. There we go. He's off in front again. He he doesn't walk like a normal dog. He kind of semi tippy toes. Okay. Oh, so I just met up with some people then and uh, just decided that I know I'd take Bo out of their way because they're heading the direction we're heading. Bo, sit. He's behaved when he knows that this is going to get him off the lead. Hey buddy, give us a look at your face. Show everybody your lovely little mush. You're a dribbler, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Look at that. Good boy, come on. He's just going to let him run for a little bit. He's off to smell all sorts. This is out of the norm. So I do need to actually keep an eye on where he's going because he could go anywhere now. But if I start running, I will stop the camera. <laughs> yep, he's going. Where's he going? It's nice to give him something a little bit different. But this is where we actually um, I like to use that bin there. Bo, come on. Let's take this round again. Bo, come on. Come on. I've already been this way, but if I do this, we'll do exactly the same route. But he knows which way to go when he's on this path. Is he going to do it? No. Uh, there's been a couple of times on this walkway where he's actually... Um, sniff bushes and then falling into the bush because he's hasn't seen the edges ended of the walkway but yeah you know, this here is normally water in the winter so it'll be water in about two months or so we're going back again already done this walk he's already sniffed that bush If I can zoom in. Oh, 
his nose wins out of anything else. I can come out with liver treats, uh, chocolate treats, his biscuit treats. And while he's got something on his nose, you can't distract him. But yeah, he'll uh, catch up and try and get ahead of me. He likes to be in the front. Doesn't get to be in the front very often. There's the uh, jungle adventure toilets again. <laughs> and around we go. And he is panting. Yeah. You can see down here. Yes, that is a where a snake's line, but down there that's where, where it's generally full of water. And snakes and frogs. At night time you can hear the frogs when you're here. But, yep, we've done this path before, but he's still hitting up the same bushes. So yeah, this is a little bit of me sharing being able to get out of the house. Um, and enjoying a walk. Um, yeah, they do with. Although I get out because I'm, I have to go to work. We have, um, you know, the thing is here in WA at least. Is you know, you're, if you're not working, you can leave your house once a day for about half an hour for exercise. Although people aren't really sticking to that. Oh yeah, Nathan that goes to Bunnings and all of that. Me, I've even ordered my shopping online. I don't leave the house if I don't have to. But, you know, when you go through and you've got two days in a row of zero new cases in the state that you live in, you know, it's a pretty good because everybody has stayed and done their self-isolation without the without it being too bad, you know, it's a pretty good situation to be in. And we all get there and say stay indoors. And if you do, you know, we're looking at, we've now got some surgery, elective surgeries being available so people are able to get see, some of their surgeries done that were cancelled. Um, you know, because they're confident the health department can deal with it, but there's not going to be any infections in the hospital. But yet again, that's the way to see. So here we go, this is the creek again. One side and up the other side. And over there is a jungle park that's closed off at the moment. So it'll stop gathering of people and children. Got all the danger tape and caution tape all over them so that they, they can't be used. Bo's in the lead again, but he'll get to the bushes in the corner of this uh, street and He'll stop and he'll sniff and sniff and sniff until I call him away. And that generally takes the lead on him and call him away. Because his nose loves this corner. Everybody that walks by with a dog has to go through this, past this corner. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of a, little bit of a walk with me. A little bit of a walk with Bo, who looks absolutely horrid in the face. Bye. Hey buddy. Say hello to everybody. Hey. See the slobber on him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna end the walk here. Bye. Sit. Wait. Sit. Sit. This is where we go across the street. Had a run, mind you. Oh, there he is. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Back to sitting down, Bo. Bo, come on. He's worn out. Okay, well, we get, get him home for water. So how uh, how interesting it is that I, I let Bo, I can have off the lead that sometimes, sometimes I can't. So uh, if we meet up with people, I do put him back on the lead. So. Uh, there was one section there where I bumped into 
I think a grandfather with his children he, he was out taking for the walk in a in a stroller. So um, although Bo won't do anything, I was just making sure that he would be uh, on good behaviour. But yeah, so there we go. I'm back onto my days off. Yeehaw. Um, interesting, interesting shift this one. Hang on, I'll go for the ends next. Nine, five, six. Yep. Um, on our second night shift, um, well, actually, on the day shift where I actually was sick, I didn't go to work because uh, of migraine. Um, they were the, the team were advised about a change to roster. Uh, yeah. So, for, on my first night shift back at work, I got notified of the change to the roster. If that's uh, really big, it is a big if. If there is a requirement where we need to go from four crews down to three due to a crew wait one of the, if one crew gets sick or someone in one crew gets uh, COVID um, they need to change the roster so the three crews that are remaining will then pile in together uh, and make just the three crews and then go on to a very very hard roster and when we go on to that roster it'll be for three months Mm. So we've been told that you know it's not it is only a plan, as in it's only contingent contingency plan. If they have to, if the numbers of people get too low, they they will have to combine and make three crews, and um, and that's it. We've got no choice. Uh, we were told that there was a change to our pay. However, we'll work our our average week. It, our average working week is at the moment is forty two hours. They're looking at making it giving us. We'll end up on being an average working week of fifty six hours. So we'll be working an extra eleven hours, and the impact, the reflection on our pay is actually not there. There's no, well, there is a small increase to our salaries, but uh, nothing in <clears throat> that isn't in line with the amount of extra hours we'll be doing. But it's a horrible roster. It's four days, four nights, and four off. So um, it's a very, it is a very hard roster to do. If you um, if you're up on site, the roster, that roster isn't so bad because with that roster on site, so if you're actually up on site, you actually get driven to work. You get driven from work to back to camp and then from camp, you know, you, your meals are cooked and um, your rooms are cleaned and, you know, and you go back, to, you get driven to, you know, you get up, you have breakfast, driven to work. Um, so it is all just basically work. So you do get away with that the ability to do that roster is not as hard whereas when you work in the city um, that roster is really hard because it's 14 hours well for me it's 14 hours day shift is 14 hours so i'll be doing you know four lots of 14 hours in a row um, and i can't do that um, yeah, it was, it, it, yeah, the whole, oh, it was, it, it's put across like, well, there's at least 100 people on the, on A crew, about 100 on B crew, 100 on C crew, and 100 on D crew. And for those that have been told so far, um, yeah, it's quite interesting. Nobody is happy. Um, our supervisor hadn't done the maths and somebody actually did the maths and calculated it out for her and showed her and and she was like oh fuck that um, for me um, I can't do the roster uh, so that's going to be an interesting situation because 
I well, we we had an in, inclination that it's something that might happen because other mining companies have done it, um, but the inclination was, you know, was you, you know we would go, we were going to go onto a harsh roster, and I, so I'd already spoken to my doctor about it a couple of weeks ago, and he turned around and he said, no, you can't wear that roster. You, you, you're going to struggle. You need your sleep. You need to. You need this, that, that, and you know. We had a good discussion about it, and he said I can write you a letter where they cannot change you from that roster. Um, so yeah, I turned around and told my supervisor I'd already had the words with my my doctor, and uh, he'll provide a medical certificate to say I can't do it. Um, so what that leaves for me is if they do go on that roster and it's for a minimum of uh, three months, I will, there's two things, either they have to accommodate me and I stay on the same roster and I just work across crews, or I have to take leave um, and use up my annual leave and my long service leave. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to find out what happens. Not all the crews know yet, actually. All the crews we should know by now. Every crew should know about this roster by now, so we'll just wait and see. Um, no doubt, next block, which I go back to work Wednesday, we'll hear more about the other crew's reactions. <laughs> because at the moment, because of the way we work in the city and between the city and a backup office, we actually don't spend any time at all with the other crews. Um, the only time we spend with the other crew is virtually over the phone with the handover because they're going home and we're coming in or they're coming in and we're going home. Um, but when we would, when days and nights were both done in the city, you you generally saw people from the other crew for at least 15 minutes, you know, have a bit of a chat with them. So you really kept up to date with what's going on and now that's gone. Ah, divide and conquer, I suppose. 6.01 so yeah that's uh, I suppose that's where we're at so far um, I'll leave this little whip and chat there because I don't know how long I've inserted of uh, the two the, the little bits of footage that I'm putting in just for a bit of variety um, I will say I've I've said it a few times that I've got glue on order to do a cushion diamond painting cushion um, without sewing so my glue has arrived the spe specific glue that I wanted has arrived and um, let's see if I can angle it slightly if you excuse the rest of the mess up there underneath the keyboard is a diamond painting with the blue cotton um, I am going to be start recording the process of doing that so that will be, um, that's my job tonight is to record um, how to make a diamond painting cushion without sewing. So keep an eye out for that one. That one's coming up soonish. Um, now I've changed views again, yet again. <laughs> I don't know which one I prefer. Do you like, so I'm going to go question one, option one is this view here option one is you see the big screen and this little one up the corner is a close-up or two do you want this this screen here that you're seeing um swapping these two around so that's quest that's option two so it'll be option one it will be um full screen option two will be close-up and I'll do option three with no close-up. Okay, so option one is this way. Option two is where this, the galah, my big main picture here is all up in the corner and you just, my main screen you're looking at is me uh, with the close-up. And then the third one is you don't get that close-up there on the corner at all. Um, so yeah. Give me, give me a vote on there. I will put that poll up for that because um, I'm not quite sure which one looks best. Um, 
I know when I listen to whipping chats and that I do tend to not really watch so some of you guys might not have a preference but um, yeah this way I give you an option it's you guys that watch it um, and once I've got it the right way the way that most people want it um, I'll leave it that way instead of chopping and changing it because uh, I just because at the moment it's just basically how I feel on where I put the camera <laughs> at the moment um, but yeah guys I will say thank you for watching give me a thumbs up thumbs down leave me a comment hit the vote button get to and vote to say which view you would like and um, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of uploads because there's more coming now. I've got work to do. I've got things to do now. Um, and Sophie and Toffee boxes, still not right. <laughs> Keep an eye out for those ones. And uh, yeah, guys, bye for now.